Hi family and happy Tuesday. It's a beautiful, warm and sunny day here in Michigan. And I am so grateful for every beautiful, clear day that God gives us in Michigan like this. I was reading my Bible this morning and when I came across this passage of scripture, I could not wait to be able to share it with you. I've already prayed it with several people today <clears throat> and I'd like to share it with you if you'll just take a moment and listen with me. Job chapter 33, rescue him from the grave for I have found a ransom for his life. That ransom is Jesus Christ. Then his body will become as healthy as a child's and firm and youthful again. Remember how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead? I once heard a preacher say when I was a boy that if Jesus had not spoken at that tomb, Lazarus come forth, then every dead person buried in that tomb would have come out of the grave. But when Lazarus came out, remember that his family and his friends it says, Lord, by now he's been dead for three days and he's, he stinketh. But Lazarus came forth, his flesh was healthy, his body was healthy. When Jesus healed the lepers, their bodies were cleansed of, of the leprosy that was consuming them. Verse 26 says, when he prays to God, he will be accepted and God will receive him with joy and restore him to good standing. And that's exactly what God has done for us in Christ. We come to God in the name of Jesus Christ. He's forgiven us of our sins. He provides healing for us, restoration of fellowship between us and God, restoration of fellowship between us and one another. And so I pray today that the wisdom from the book of Job, though his friends were misapplying it and accusing him of things that he was not guilty of, I pray this wisdom that has stood through the centuries, through the millennial, it will bring encouragement to you and that you will join me in prayer right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for what Christ did for us at Calvary. Thank you that his life, his blood paid the ransom for our sins and that we are redeemed today because of what Jesus has done. I ask you, Lord, to accept our thanksgiving for the gift of forgiveness that is provided for us in Christ. I pray for those today that are sick, that you would restore them, that you would heal them, that you would restore their strength, that you would make their flesh completely whole and healthy again. And finally, Father, thank you so much that you have given for us this life of Jesus Christ so that we might have fellowship with you and we might have fellowship with one another. And by this shall all men know that we are your disciples and that we love one another. I love you, Father, and I thank you for letting me have this chance to pray with my friends today. For it's in Christ's name I ask, amen, amen, and amen. Well, God bless you. Thanks so much for joining me for this daily prayer update. Tomorrow evening at 6.30, we'll be live streaming from here at the church. Pastor Rick is going to be preaching tomorrow night, and you're going to enjoy his message. It's going to be great. Also, let me encourage you, if you would, leave a comment. Let me know that you're watching here. I would certainly appreciate it. God bless you.